One of the big benefits of pipe drive is the ability it gives you to make your day productive with just a quick glance. This is where all your hard work starts to pay off. How should we start the day? First, let's click on the deals tab. I recommend that you begin each day by taking a few minutes to keep your goals act and deals active. The first thing is to make sure you're ready for the greens and reds. Those are today's critical activities. The second thing is to turn yellows into grays. Remember, green and gray are good. The green activities are things you'll do today, while the gray ones are activities you've scheduled for later. But watch out for the red and yellow. Red means an item is overdue. You'll want to bring those items current. And yellow means there are no activities currently scheduled for that particular deal. For the yellow tags, I suggest adding some activities to keep those deals moving forward. Whenever you see a deal that's gone completely red, we're talking about an entire tab, not just the little circle for an overdue event, then you know that the deal is beginning to rot. You did turn on deal rotting a few videos ago, right? Well, if you did, then you've activated another excellent pipe drive feature, a rotting deal, where the tag is completely red, means you haven't contacted the client in so many days that you may lose the deal if you don't get to work on it immediately. So to make sure your deals stay active, do a quick check for anything red and green, giving immediate attention to today's scheduled activities and to any rotting deal and add activities where necessary, as indicated by the yellow markers. As you're going through your day, you may want to click on the Activities tab now and then to take a look at your schedule, but I think the better way is to work from the Deals tab. Click on the green ones and note down the times. Each deal has a list of scheduled activities, which you can see immediately by clicking on the deal title. Also, since you saved your notes for each deal, you can see all relevant information right here in the notes section. So run your day from the deals page. Take care of today's greens, fix reds when you can, and turn as many yellows into grays as you can. And of course, make sure to take advantage of your notes to keep track of what the client wants and how to make her happy. Second, here's how to keep your deals current. When you're here at the deals page, right after you've worked on a deal, you can drag it to the next stage of the deal whenever that's appropriate. In this case, I've just made contact with Ryan Howard and set up an initial meeting, so I'll click on Ryan's deal and drag it over here, from the prospect stage to the meeting stage. What about deals that get to the final stage? Let's say this deal here in escrow went south, and I lost that deal. I'll drag it down to the red lost area. Remember, all deals end as won or lost in pipe drive, and I'll choose one of my predefined reasons for losing the deal. But here's another deal in the closing column. It closed today, so I'll drag it down here to the green win area. Excellent. If you get in the habit of keeping all your deals current, then looking at pipe drive's deal page is a great way to know how many people you need to contact for the first time, how many clients need you to show them properties, and so forth. And it's that easy. Now that you've come this far, let the deals page work for you. Monitor your schedule by colors, take advantage of Pipedrive's notes feature, and move the clients all the way to closing step by step. Next, we'll talk about how to use Pipedrive's data features to improve the way you do things over time. See you in the next video.